What's up, everybody? I am Sniggenhoff, and we are back playing EU4, and look at me. I am the captain now. We're playing Congo today. In the last episode, we declared war on Morocco, because the Ottomans would not defend them, because they have a billion debt. Literally one billion. Uh, but they did, like, white piece out of that war they were in, it looks like. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they lost some land, but probably not. AI really loves to white piece. They're such a big fan of it. Uh, and I'm going to win this war with Morocco real quick, even though they snuck troops down into my freaking territory and messed up my prosperity down here, which is annoying. I think these are all in the same state, though, at least. All right, let's unpause. Get going. Um, also, I could give the nobles some land, and I should probably do that. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, excuse me. I do apologize. Anything with... No, I'm not giving him that. not really keen on giving him that either. There we go. Everyone is almost happy. Alright, they're coming for me. I'm in the jungle... I have better tech than they do, a better general, probably better morale and better discipline. Definitely better discipline. Not quite better morale. Better tactics, though. <coughs> yeah. Get out of here, kid. Probably retreating, like, over to here. Mm, I should probably stop them from sieging down my capital, though. <laughs> Might be a good idea. 71%. There we go. Some Moroccan particulars, particular particularists have risen up. Hey, get out of here. I don't want to have to fight the rebels for them, but that's land I want to take. <coughs> Maybe they'll leave when I finish the war. Maybe. Not quite, huh? Where are you retreating to? Just to here, okay. Go around them. Spain declared war on Morocco means I'm gonna have to fight Spain. <coughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna release Clemson. Are you guys gonna sit here and still siege down that fort? Let me let them wait until this next siege tick and see if they keep going. No, they left. No. Come this way. Around. Up to here. So hopefully they will just ignore us, avoid us completely. My overextension is dangerously high. I understand that. I'm not coring these provinces, though. I'm going to give these three to Mophie. Mosi. Actually, I may give more to Mosi now, since I'm releasing Tlemcen. But let's release them first. <clears throat> let's grant you some provinces. Put 
Put your overextension up to 27. I think it's better to give these guys this stuff just for the fact that it's like their culture. What culture is Mosi? Mosi's probably Diola down here. But you're probably closer in culture to these guys than the Mar these guys are to these guys. Maybe. Most he's more of a settled nation as well. give them this and then I'll give slumps and the rest of this I know not you guys it's fine I like that split <coughs> most he's a little big now but it's fine uh, you guys should stop wanting provinces here in a second. Fill our coffers. Have at least 2,000 gold. Reduce overextension. Take that mission right quick. Hey, extra diplo rep. France. Hey, I bet you France still hates me. Not as much, but they still hate me. I think I'm going to go ahead and rival the Ottomans now. I'm not going to rival France. There is literally no reason for me to rival France. Ethiopia is allied with Spain. Spain is fighting Morocco. No, Spain, Spain is fighting Russia and Cusco. Spain is fighting Russia. Who is Russia fighting? Estonia, Lithuania, <coughs> Spain. It's all of Spain's stuff. What did you do? Russia, what did you do? Russian conquest of Narva. And they were just like, bring it on. I do not give any Fs. I can build another university. Which I would like to do. Now I just need one more. I can probably build it next month. Let me see something really quick. <laughs> okay, I think I need my capital to have the uni have a university means we need to ditch one of these buildings. A temple, a workshop, a shipyard, or the barracks. Because I'm not even using my full naval limit, limit right now anyway because of my sailors. So let's ditch the shipyard. Uh, let's also lower this maintenance down a little bit. Mothball us some forts. Issue an embargo over here. Um, bring army maintenance back up.
Bridal of Arrival being France, fill our coffers. Yeah, we can go with that. Uh, but first, I'm going to build a university right here. And that should fulfill, I mean, not yet, because they're not built, but it should fulfill the things for that. Excuse me? Just because I spent money? It failed? That's dumb. <coughs> That's really dumb. I did that right. I do have a dip map free. Hey, yo, Russia, how you like me now? Don't we have the same two of the same rivals? No, we only have one of the same rival. Your other rival would be France. Kong Separatists rose up over here. Mostly I'm going to trust you guys to take care of that with your two different two-star generals. Alright. Get in there. Now I want to start getting my armies outfitted with more cannons. I also probably should stop paying the troops so much. Or at all. Corruption is ticking down at a very swift rate. Okay, so how much force limit do I have available to me? 32? That'll give us four, 420 stacks, essentially. Lit. Um, should I go up to like eight cannons in the back? That would be 12 in the front, eight in the back. Is that... Mm. <coughs> <coughs> it might be a lot, but... Oh, yeah. It's going to take a little while money. Let's start out with two in each. And then we'll think about going up to eight. How does that sound? do this unless they have uh, I can't do it because of their influence and their loyalty jeez that sucks unhappiness among the peasantry I 
don't want to lose the stab. Uh, well, actually, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Because then I could boost it back up and get some more uh, absolutism. Yeah. Uh, before I do that, let me placate somebody. He's got the highest. Killwa. Yeah, four absolutism now. Let's go. How you like me now? Probably gonna be the same cult. Just discipline all day, every day. And we should find out what his personality trait here is is here in a second. Oh, and Morocco can raid us now. Isn't that fantastic? And he's an obsessive perfectionist. Extra construction cost. Also fantastic. Things are just everything's just coming up, Melberg. Spain starts losing this war pretty hard. May not be the worst to jump in on that. Because I only need three provinces from them. We have 23,000 mercenaries. 82 force limit. Ottomans have 45 mercenaries. Two hundred and fifty-five force limit. Good lord. I mean they're only using half of it. But still. They have no cannons out right now though. And they're like wildly undead, I think. <coughs> Um, unappoint this general. Let's not give him extra chances to die. Killwa, have you fabricated claims down here? Nope. No, you have not. Okay, so after all those cannons are built... We still have 77 out of 102. Oh man, once this corruption goes away, we're going to be making so much money. Like we are paying 31 ducats to root out corruption right now. For those of you keeping score at home, that's a heck of a lot of ducats the technical term. <laughs> and then you have tons of cores. Well, not tons of cores. You have cores up there. Enough for us to declare a reconquest war. Um, we will wait. No reason to pay the 5% extra right now, at least. And I mean, the possible colonies thing, now that they're all just like three development, I could just go for whatever. Like filling in this hole, or this hole, or this hole. Let's just start at the bottom, work our way up. Which one finished? This one? Yes.
So yeah, between these two, they have 15. There's only five more. Oh, I can have 420 stacks, that's why. Duh. Do I want to stay at 12, 2, and 6? I, mean, I feel like that's a pretty decent number. I don't like my front line to get too narrow. Uh, wait till next year for both of those. I'm sitting here like, why doesn't this math work out right? Hmm. What's going on? Nick once again proves he's a simpleton. Uh, I may destroy this barracks here to build a manufactory there. agrees with our religious doctrine. Some people are complaining loudly, calling our approach to modern ideas the narrow-minded and arguing that clinging to ancient philosophy is a regressive nonsense. Alas, some might have to burn. Boost back up. I mean, that's more absolutism, at least. We own multiple universities now. Decline of the merchant classes has ended. Their influence is now 39. Popular religion. This is There's always been some discrepancy between the religion actually taught and defended by the clergy and the actual faith of the people in the provinces. Most of the time the differences are so small enough that the clergy chooses to ignore them and instead to focus on, reinf oh, focus on reinforce the more orthodox spiritual ideas of the people. It seems, however, that certain ideas are quite unorthodox. Or unorthodox, if rooted in old traditions, have begun to spread together with the fetishist faith along among our other non-fetishist subjects. The resulting mix of old heathen ideas, popular superstitions, and the actual fetishist itself has be been quite too much for the clergy to stomach, even if it seems to have made uh, conversion a much more attractive proposition for, uh, for our heathen subjects. Um, clergy gains loyalty and influence, or we get missionary strength and they lose loyalty and influence. <clears throat> we can't demand support until 27. I would kind of like the missionary strength, to be honest with you. Yeah, you're mad. I get it. Did I have, like, one missionary not doing anything just now? Oh, that's why. Um, actually, when this ticks over, this may go down by another 5%. Nope. New units, leather cannons. ahead and call it an episode right there thank you guys so much for joining me if you enjoyed the video feel free to hit that like button down below as well as subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment um ooh, ethiopians and ottomans are back at war who do you think is going to win this it was white peace last time will the ottomans be able to pull it out and beat the far inferior ethiopians also why aren't you at war with spain i should uh check that out and see if ethiopia is not going to be defended by spain we'll see in the next episode. Once again, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.